Hi guys, today we're going to try uh, an MRE entree. This is called ratatouille, but it also gives us the opportunity to explain that there are going to be some changes in the MRE packaging. Now, uh, from what I understand, entrees are going to start coming in a, in a sleeve like this. So, um, on the package will only be what the item is and what the production date is, and then it's going to be contained inside, inside of some kind of a, a cardboard sleeve like this. Now, Ameriqual has already kind of gone another step, and what they've done is they've eliminated the um, cardboard packaging entirely, and what they have is a, a sticker that's on here. Um, and so it's got the usual what it is and when it's produced, but it also has the nutritional information right on the package. Okay, so anyway, expect those kind of changes um, as new things come in. Uh, they're probably going to be switching over to this other style and eliminating the old school boxes. Um, now one interesting thing about these sleeves is that they can actually uh, fold up on one end, kind of like um, you know what they use for french fries at McDonald's. And we're not really sure what the purpose of that is. We've been conjecturing that maybe you could put your hot meal in here, have this open and and eat right out of this without getting your hands you know too hot, uh, assuming that the uh, that you've heated this up with a MRE heater or something like that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and try this ratatouille coming up next. Okay, now we have a couple of people that are wimping out and they only want half of one of these entrees. So here we go. Um, very tomatoey smelling. Um, let's see how it tastes. While she's doing that, you had a bite just a second ago. Mm -hmm. I did. Uh oh, and then there was that expression on Jen's face. <laughs> now we've warned Jen that this does have zucchini in it. She's not a zucchini fan. It's not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. A little slimy. The noodles are a little overcooked. I'll take Brian's noodle snob thing and go with that. It's got flavor though. It in for a vegetarian dish. It is vegetarian, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got flavor. It's not. It's not bad. And I hear you munching along over here. What do you think? I was gonna get one of the half ones, but John took it instead. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm okay. I actually really like this. I don't really like the al dente noodles. I like overcooked noodles better when they're really like squishy and you don't have to chew them just because I'm lazy. <laughs> 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 so are these squishy noodles or these al dente? Are, these are really squishy noodles, but I like it. I'm a fan. I think the flavor is good. It doesn't need like salt or extra seasonings or anything. I agree with you. There's good flavor. You don't need to throw anything on here. It's not bad. Um, I don't care for this. However, it is a. This is a very hearty for the vegetarian dishes. So I'm going to recommend this for the vegetarians out there, or even people who aren't vegetarians but need to not eat meat all the time. Uh, it has 16 grams of protein as a vegetarian dish, which is pretty good, and it does have a lot of flavor. It's just not my kind of thing, um, but it's really hearty for a vegetarian dish. You already ate some of this. I, I have not, but I've had yes, this. Yes, you have. You've but had I've that had before. before. <laughs> I've had this before. I've had it before, and I liked it before. Um, and I can't remember who we got it from last time, but this this batch, uh, probably Ameriqual. This batch, interestingly enough, is from Warnick, uh, the Warnick Company. And my mouth is watering because this smells really good. I really liked it last time, but we'll see if this is significantly different than the than the Ameriqual version. Um, but I do look at that. Look at the mushroom right here. You see that nice big mushroom cap there? Mm. Yum. I made a mistake. I was looking at beef ravioli. Oh, oh. This dish has yeah, eight, yeah. eight grams of protein, which is still good for a vegetarian dish. Um, yeah, not 16 grams of protein, eight grams of protein. Eight grams, okay. I think this is really good. I could use a little bit of Parmesan on this. Um, 
But I'd say all in all, this <coughs> is a good one. I like this one. I'm with John. Um, I'm not a real fan of this. I don't like the, al dente, or the uh, squishy noodles. Um, it's got good flavor for what it is. Um, and good for vegetarian. <coughs> not my favorite vegetarian MRE, though. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't like these kind of mushrooms. I don't like... <coughs> Processed mushrooms? Yeah. <laughs> I ignored one of the things that, of course, I always complain about, which is the noodles. But I like the sauce, and I like the flavor on this. So, so you can look past the squishy noodles? I can noodles. look past the noodles. It's not that much of a big deal to me on this one. Because uh, it's got good flavor. I like it. I would rather eat this than some of the like meat MREs. Like, I even like this better than the chicken tomato feta. Mm. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. Wait a minute, we're going to do rewind. What? Mm. But, uh, funny. I would rather eat this than some of the, like, meat MREs. Like, I even like this better than the chicken tomato feta. Mm. Oh. What'd you say? <laughs> I had the chicken tomato feta, like, last week for lunch, or, like, Monday or something, and I like this even better than the chicken tomato feta in terms of like flavor and you know just texture kind of. Interesting. Huh. I would rather eat this than some of our MREs. This would be a top choice for me. All right. <laughs> All right, John. What do you give it? B minus. I I'm giving it a C. I'm thinking A minus. I like this one. A. All right. Yeah. And Jenny. All right. I don't know if I'm in there. Yep, yeah, you're in but, there. But uh, I would give it a C. Simply, it's really hearty, and this is not my top pick. But if you're doing a vegetarian, or I can see liking it. It's just I think where Jessica likes taste texture mix doesn't quite work for me. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'll give it a C. So we had two A's and a C, and I think that's the biggest disparity we've had in a while. Two A's and two C's, didn't we? Two A's and three C's. John, me, and... And I think it was all just personal preference, so I think it's kind of funny and amuses me that it's just totally personal preference. It was not bad on my part. It wasn't something I would do. And at least, you know what? It wasn't enough. I was expecting enough. So, hey. But, you know, I, I was one of the A's on this one, and, you know... That is for real empty because I like this one. I mean, I would eat another one of those just because it's good. <laughs> Not that I'm hungry or anything. For theepicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian signing out. Okay.